All right, Kalina, thank you so much. A memorial is growing in front of Ventura County High School where a driver slammed into a group of teens, killing one of them. And this all started with a crime spree. And KCOV News reporter Tina Patel is live in Westlake Village where the community is just in grief and trying to wrap their heads around this. Tina. Yeah, it is so terrible. There are going to be grief counselors at Westlake High School today. This is a small knit community and students are really going to need some help as they cope with this unexpected loss. A number of them came out for a candlelight vigil here last night. They are mourning the loss of a 15 year old boy who was killed when a driver ran into him just after school let out yesterday afternoon. Three other students were with him. They were also hit and now are in the hospital. Now, the driver was actually trapped in his car after it flipped over. 24 year old Austin Ice of Ventura County has now been arrested. He's going to be facing several charges, including homicide. Students at Westlake High School had this message when they gathered together. We want people to know that we're here to support and we need to help those who are struggling with mental health issues. Investigators say ICE had actually been involved in two other crimes before the crash in Westlake Village. They say he was involved in a domestic dispute at his parents' home in Camarillo. He also is accused of stabbing an employee at a Walmart in Simi Valley. Now we have some video from there. Investigators don't know what led up to that stabbing. They do not believe that ICE knew the employee. That employee is expected to recover. Witnesses at the store actually provided information about ICE's Toyota Camry, which is how investigators were able to tie him to the different crime scenes throughout the county. Now, as we come back out here live, you can see all the flowers and candles that were left here last night. Going to be a difficult day for students as they return to school today. As for the other students who were hit, we are told that it was a 14-year-old girl who was critically injured and is, is in the hospital this morning. There are two other kids also injured, a 15-year-old boy and a 16-year-old girl. We are told they have less serious injuries. That's the latest right now in Westlake Village. We'll send it back to you.